comes the field for tonight, second race, as they pray to the post. Number one is Noble Lenz, owned by David Warnstaff. Don Feaster drives. Two is Tammy Renee Q, owned by Alan Quinn with Jeff Fout. Three delayed, owned by Ron Barker with Brad Hanners. Four, Misty Tucson, owned by Terry Ader and Carvel Simmons. Dan Ader will be aboard. Number five, Full of Bologna, owned by Al Vest Incorporated. Guy Miller and Alan Houck. David Miller is in the bike. Six is Sister Jude, owned by Jack Cool with Mike Wilder. Seven, Caddy's Orphan, owned by Dorvin York with Don Cromer. Eight is Susie's Falcon, owned by Shakiri Patel with Jack Franklin. Nine, Tins Nipper, owned by Paul Wade and driver Roy Burns. Number 10, Christy Stormcat, owned by Stanley Swangle the third. Randy Tharps will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's second race, post time in less than six minutes. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Full of Bologna, middle of the racetrack, takes the lead. A little bit rough and jumping off stride. Caddy's orphan. The seven is on the break. The nine's got to go wide. Tins nipper as they battle for command on their way to the quarter mile pole. And here's Misty Tucson to get the lead. Misty Tucson, full of Bologna, taken back a bit. Now charges up on the outside from third. Tammy Renee Q moves in to be fourth. After that comes delayed. As they move by this opening quarter in a sharp 28 and 2 fifth. First nine, well bunched, full of Bologna driving wide and hard now, gets the lead. Misty Tucson moves in to be second, Tammy Renee Q. Next in line comes Delayed in fourth, moving up on the outside, Noble Lins to fifth. Followed by Sister Jude in sixth, racing seventh, Christy Stormcat. As they wheel around the paddock turn and head of the half mile pole, Tins Nipper is up on the outside. Followed by Sister Jude and far back trailing the field, Caddy's Orphan. They're at the half mile pole in 59 and 1. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Full of Bologna on top by a half a length. Noble ends right alongside in second. Here's Tammy Renee Q moving up on the outside, steadily to third. Misty Tucson fourth, delayed as in the fifth. Tins Nipper up on the outside. Along the rail, Sister Jude, middle of the racetrack. Christy Stormcat. After that comes Susie's Falcon. And Caddy's Orphan racing by three quarters in one twenty-eight and four. Full of Bologna tries to repel the challenge of Noble Lens. Full of Bologna brings them on home. Tammy Renee Q surging up on the far outside. Gamely in the center. Noble Lens waiting for the passing lane. Misty Tucson delayed, locked in behind a wall of horses. Angles to the outside. Tammy Renee Q on the extreme outside now gets the lead. Full of Bologna's trying to fight back with Noble Lens. Tammy Renee Q, Full of Bologna second, Noble Lens third. Here comes the unofficial winner of tonight's second race. Number two, Tammy Renee Q, a two year old Bay Philly by Western Hanover out of Cloverleaf Gladys. Owned in Deland, Florida by Alan Quinn. Trained by Doug Jones. Driven tonight by Jeff Fout. Covering the mile here in two minutes flat to establish a lifetime best. Number two, Tammy Renee Q. The unofficial winner of tonight's second race. Trophy tonight by Chris Fout and Gretchen Jones. Windows are now up and on tonight's third race. Superfecta in here. Trophy by Avon. Scratch number six, Kyler Bell. Scratch number six, Kyler Bell. 2-5 exact and $19 even, 19 even. Post time in 13 minutes, scratch number six, Kyler Bell. AQ the winner, delayed fourth, Misty Tucson, sixth disqualified in place 10th, violation of the Eurorail rule.